hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in ASP.NET MVC application without using entity framework how to fetch records from PostgreSQL database and here we got the final output notice the header tags how to fetch records from PostgreSQL database in MVC without using entity framework below we got the student table records is fetching from let's close this window from the student table so in this video I have shown fetching the record from PostgreSQL database in MVC without using entity framework that's it if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before creating a project in MVC application first we'll check the table in PostgreSQL database the table name is a student which contains three columns student ID, student name, and email. And this student table I have created in the Charan database. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new application. So I'm selecting a ASP.NET Web Application.NET framework. Click next. Then let's give the project name MVC PostgreSQL without EF entity framework. Let's give WGF without entity framework and I want to save this project in I have created one D drive in ASP.NET Core examples and the .NET framework I'm using 4.72 then click create now after that I'm selecting the template MVC template click create And the project is created successfully let me close this default window now first in this project when we are dealing any particular database we require that particular DLL library of the database but here we are using the postgres sql database so first we require the the postgres DLL library the database library let's install that one first in the project there is a references folder right click the references folder go to manage netjet packages select that one after that go to browse and search for npg sql and from the search results i'm selecting the first option npg sql the version i'm installing 4.1.4 click install click ok and the package is installed successfully notice the green button which means this dll library is installed successfully into our references folder notice the npg sql so after installing this npg sql library into our project let's minimize this references folder and also let's close this notjet package window which we don't require anymore now first let's create a new class in this models folder right select the models folder right click the mouse add at the bottom we got a class option select that one let's give the class name is um, it's a student model and and here we got our student model this model class contains a properties it's a simple POCO class which contains only the properties so let's define the properties here first we require the key attribute it's a key notice once you add the key we need to import this system dot component model dot data inertials after that prop double tab which will create the property the first property is integer type student ID in our table if you notice we have three columns student ID student name email in this student table so I require three properties the first one is student ID then let's create a, another property for student name prop double tab this data type is string and student name and the last one is prop string and this one is an email that's it after adding the properties in the student model next we require the controller in this controllers folder so select the controllers right click the mouse go to add 
click control and I'm selecting MVC file controller empty click add the controller name is a student controller click add and here we got our controller now first in this controller let's import that DLL library which we have installed in PG SQL so we can connect the database after that we require the using system dot data also after adding these two name spaces now in the public action result index method I'm adding npg SQL connection npg SQL connection con is an object new npg SQL connection and this connection method takes a string parameter so let's add the connection string for the postgresql database first one is a server is equals to the server name of the postgresql database switch to the database to find out the connection strings notice the postgresql tool root folder select that one right click the mouse go to properties in the properties there is a connection tab select that one here we can find our database connection string the host name and address which is nothing but a server name so our server name is a local host copy that one and paste here next we require the port number also the port number of our database is 5432 so grab that one and paste here next we require the database the database is equals to the student table this student table I have created in the Charan database so we we'll have to add the database name here Charan and we require the user ID which is nothing but a username the username is PostgreSQL Postgres and we require the password password is equals to password 123 let's go with semicolon after that after that let's open the connection string con dot open method after open the connection string next we require the command also npg sql command npg sql command com is equals to new npg sql command npg sql command let's add the command properties com dot first we require the connection is equals to con semicolon next com dot uh, we require the command type command type is equals to command type dot text com dot command text is equals to the command text is a select query so here I want to display the records from the student table so let's write the query select start from student then after adding the command properties now we require the data reader npg sql um, data reader sdr is equals to com dot execute reader method so after execute the reader method next thing we read the data from the table for that we are using while loop while uh, sdr dot read method we are reading the data so now here let's declare a variable equal student uh, student list is equals to new uh, we need to add the student uh, model also here using my application name which is mvc postgres wf dot models folder so i can access the student model class so here we need to import the list class list student model display student is equals to new list student model then now let's add the student model class here 
Now, once we add the student model class, now we can access these properties. So let's add the one still list. Still list dot. Notice when I click dot, I got the properties here. First one student ID is equals to. I'm reading the data with this SQL NPG SQL data reader object. So SDR between double quotes, I'm adding student ID. This one, see here the integer type. So we need to convert dot to in 32 semicolon. Student list dot student name is equals to SDR student name dot to string method. Student list dot email is equals to SDR between double quotes email the column name I'm adding here dot to string method so after that so now the next step is we need to add this variable the student model class variable in this list class object so the list class object is display student display student dot add method inside this add method I'm adding student list the variable name and the return view I am adding display student this is the return view that's it we have written the code to fetch the records from the student table from postgres sql database now the next step requires the action view page index view page but before that we need to build the application so build build solution and here we got a message build succeeded now next now next select the action result index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index only because the action result is index so leave it like that index name view name is index only and the template is I want to display the records for that I'm selecting the default template the list template and the model class our model class is student model so let's add select that one also the student model that's it click add and see here we got the index view page the default list view template is created automatically at model i enumerable the student model class and here we got the student name email so let's add i want to add the student id also so instead of student name i'm adding student id and in the variable so for each loop student id and if you notice here at the bottom we got the action links for the edit delete and details which i don't require for this demo so i'm deleting that one and also you can find the action link for the create a new record this also i don't require so i don't i'm deleting that one also now here i'm adding the center tag inside the center tag i'm adding h1 how to fetch records from postgresql database h3 in mvc without using entity framework entity Framework. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now I'm closing the center tag after the table, and this is to tag index I don't require. That's it. Now it's time to check the final output on the browser. Let's browse this application. And here we got the final output. Notice the header tags how to fetch records from PostgreSQL database in MVC without using entity framework. Below we got the student table records is fetching from, let's close this window, from this student table. So in this video, I have shown fetching the record from PostgreSQL database in MVC without using entity framework. That's it.